The nuclear pore complexes are the only channels through which small polar molecules, ions, and macromolecules can travel between the nucleus and the cytoplasm. By controlling this traffic, the nuclear pore complex plays a fundamental role in the physiology of all eukaryotic cells. Most proteins and RNAs are too large to move through the complex by passive diffusion and must move by an active process in which appropriate proteins and RNAs are recognized and selectively transported in a specific direction. Let's consider proteins imported from the cytoplasm to the nucleus. Only a subset of proteins can enter the nucleus, and they are allowed in by virtue of having specific amino acid sequences called nuclear localization signals. Nuclear localization signals typically consist of one or two short segments of basic amino acids. Nuclear localization signals are recognized by nuclear transport receptors called importins, which carry the cargo proteins into the nucleus. With its cargo attached, importin binds to specific nuclear pore proteins in the cytoplasmic filaments. By sequential binding to more interior nuclear pore proteins, the complex is translocated through the nuclear pore. At the nuclear side of the pore, the complex is disrupted by the binding of a protein called RAN to importin. RAN carries a molecule of GTP. This binding changes the conformation of importin which then releases its cargo protein into the nucleus. The important RAN complex is then re-exported through the nuclear pore. A protein in the cytoplasm called RAN-GAP, for GTPase activating protein, stimulates RAN to hydrolyze its GTP to GDP, an action that triggers RAN to release important back into the cytoplasm. RAN plays a key role in protein import and export. Note that while RAN is bound to GDP, it cannot disrupt the binding of important to a cargo protein. In an action that prevents the depletion of RAN from the nucleus, the RAN GDP formed in the cytoplasm is transported back to the nucleus by its own import receptor, a protein called NTF2. In the nucleus, another protein called RAN-GEF for guanine nucleotide exchange factor, stimulates RAN GDP to release its GDP and pick up GTP. In this form, RAN GTP can disrupt the binding of importin and its cargo, triggering the release of the cargo in the nucleus. By the actions of RAN GEF, found only in the nucleus, and RAN GAP, found only in the cytoplasm, a steep gradient of RAN GTP and RAN GDP is maintained across the nuclear membrane, with RAN GTP inside the nucleus and RAN GDP in the cytoplasm. Similar to imported proteins, proteins are targeted for export from the nucleus by specific amino acid sequences called nuclear export signals. Nuclear export signals are recognized by receptors within the nucleus called exportins, which direct protein transport through the nuclear pore complex to the cytoplasm. RAN-GTP promotes the formation of stable complexes between exportins and their cargo proteins. Note that this same form of RAN does the opposite for importins and their cargos. The effect of RAN-GTP binding on exportins dictates the movement of proteins containing nuclear export signals from the nucleus to the cytoplasm. Following transport to the cytosolic side of the nuclear envelope, GTP hydrolysis and release of RAN-GDP leads to dissociation of the cargo protein, which is released into the cytoplasm. Exportins are then recycled through the nuclear pore complex for reuse.